Welcome to the LZR H100 installation tutorial. The LZR H100 is an opening and safety sensor for barriers. To start, open the box to discover the following elements. Then, prepare the tools needed for the installation. Before installing the sensor, carefully read the user's guide. The LZR H100 is composed of one laser window for emission, one for reception, an LED display, position lock screws, and notches for tilt angle adjustment. Keep in mind the following basic principles throughout the installation. The scanned area is composed of four horizontal laser curtains, covering a zone of maximum 9.9 meters by 9.9 meters, which is divided into two detection fields. A safety field around the barrier to prevent contact, an opening field to detect vehicles and open the barrier. The mounting position of the sensor determines the position of the detection fields, which is very important for the good functioning of the barrier. Install the sensor behind the barrier boom so that the safety field protects the zone around it. Mount the sensor not too close to the road to prevent collision with driving cars. When the sensor is the only safety device, a reference point must be set to be compliant with safety regulations. Now let's start installing the sensor. To mount the sensor in the correct position, you can use a bracket mounted directly on the barrier housing or an installation post. In this tutorial, we choose the mounted bracket. For car traffic, we recommend a mounting height of 35 to 45 centimeters from the road to make sure that the laser curtains secure all types of cars. For traffic of mainly trucks, we recommend installing the sensor a little higher. To maximize safety in case of mixed traffic, we suggest an additional vertical safety zone. In case of barriers with a pendulum support or a barrier skirt, install the sensor as shown. Position the mounting base on the bracket and fasten the four screws firmly to avoid vibrations. If needed, you can use the mounting template. Cut a hole in the mounting template to pass the cable. The limits of the grey zone represent the 0 degrees and 90 degrees visible laser beams. Make sure the left limit is aligned with the boom. Pass the cable and connector through the base, leaving 10 centimeters sticking out. Open the protective cap, plug the connector and position the cable in the slit. Close the protective cap and fasten it firmly. If not closed completely, the sensor cannot be positioned correctly on the bracket. To fasten the sensor housing on the mounting bracket, position the middle triangle above the notch and turn the sensor until the two triangles are face to face. Choose an object for the reference point. This can be a wall, a tree trunk, the barrier support bar or an additional post. Just make sure the reference is in the continuity of the boom, at the end or further away, with a flat surface of minimum 5 centimeters, and firmly fixed to the ground to avoid vibrations. Strip the cable before connecting the different wires. Make sure not to confuse the white wire with the striped wires which are not used. To assure supply voltage compatibility, you can use a power supply module. Connect green and brown to the power supply. Respect the polarity. Connect white and yellow to relay one which is linked to the opening field. Connect pink and violet to relay 2, which is linked to the safety field. Connect red and blue to the test output. Also here, respect the polarity. When your barrier has no test function, connect red-green and blue-brown to the power supply. 
When connected, the LED signal turns on. The blue LED signals the power on of the sensor. When detected in the opening field, the first green LED turns red. When detected in the safety field, the second green LED turns red. When the reference point is lost or not found, the orange LED flashes. Now we can fine-tune the position and angles of the detection field with the help of three visible laser beams. Activate the visible beams by remote control. Make sure the field of view of the sensor is clear and no objects obstruct the visible beams. To use the remote control, always press the unlock key until the LED starts flashing. Do not stand too far or too close to the sensor. Check the position of the zero degrees laser beam. It must be visible on the opposite reference post. To find the red spot, you can use a piece of white paper or the user's guide by starting close to the sensor and moving away from it gradually. If the distance between the post and the sensor is more than 5 meters or the surface is not reflecting it, use the reflective sticker. If necessary, turn the sensor around on its axis to place the red spot on the reference post. Check the distance between the laser beams and the road. The zero degrees beam must be parallel to the boom, and the 45 and 90 degrees beam must be at mid-calf height, plus or minus, at 30 to 35 centimeters, where you want cars to open the barrier. It is important that the detection field is parallel to the road level. Particularly pay attention if the road is sloped. If necessary, adjust the tilt angle of the sensor using a hex key. Turn it clockwise to tilt the beam up. Turn it counterclockwise to tilt the beam down. To finish, lock the sensor position by using a PH1 screwdriver. Make sure it is firmly fixed to resist shocks and vibrations. To set the mounting side of the sensor, step into the detection field while facing the barrier in the direction of the traffic flow, so you can see the LED signal of the sensor. By remote control, set the mounting side and choose an installation with reference point to set the width of the detection fields automatically. For a mounting on the left side with reference, select value 1. For a mounting on the right side, select value 2. You can also select a mounting side without reference point. Be aware that a complementary safety device might be needed to meet safety regulations. For a mounting on the left side without reference point, select value 3. For a mounting on the right side, select value 4. Now it is time to adjust the detection field dimensions and launch a teach-in for each detection field. Let's start with the safety field. The width of the safety field is automatically set according to the reference point. Ideally, the safety field should reach a little further than the end of the boom to cover the risky area. If needed, adjust the width via remote control. By default, the depth of the safety field is set to 2 meters. Adapt it if desired. After checking or adjusting the field dimensions, launch a teach-in. You have 3 seconds to step out of the detection field and clear it of any objects. Once the LED flashes slowly, Wait plus or minus 30 seconds while the sensor learns its environment. Now we do the same for the opening field. The width of the opening field is automatically set to the width of the safety field. If desired, change it. The depth of the opening field is set to maximum 9.9 .9 meters. Adapt it if desired. 
After checking or adjusting the field dimensions, launch a teach-in. You have three seconds to step out of the detection field. Then wait plus or minus 45 seconds while the sensor learns its environment. If you wish to filter out pedestrians in the opening field, set the pedestrian filter to value 3 or higher. No worries, pedestrians are still detected in the safety field. Further settings are possible to fine-tune the sensor to your application. Check the user's guide for more information. At the end of the installation, always make sure to test the good functioning of the barrier. Before leaving, you can switch off the LED signal by remote control to avoid attracting attention to the sensor. The installation is now completed. Well done! Thank you for watching our tutorial. You can follow us on LinkedIn and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay tuned. Also, have a look at our Tips and Tricks playlist for more specific instructions.